Okay, all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube, Kudum Malo here coming at you with another exciting video. A lot of people want to know like how many times did I use the oven? How many times did I use the self-clean? How many, how many times did I use the broiler or the burner or the bake or whatever? Here's how you do that for, this is for a KitchenAid, right? KitchenAid or Whirlpool double oven. By the way, if some of you are curious where your serial number is, your model number, you reach back behind here. Oh, it's like a little mail tab. There you go, that's where it is, it's all in there. I'm not gonna show you mine, but that's where it is. You just reach behind, you pull back, boom, and it's right there. So that's where that information is. In case you call customer service and you wanna you know, register your oven and all that good stuff, that's where it is. Okay, so you push off, off, start. That's gonna engage the test mode. While this is on, you basically hit the number three. Now it says usage right push start to enter that mode so you push start again now it's going to say push three to go up and six to go down through the menu so let's push three there you go there's your total usage so i use the upper oven 270 times the bottom oven 308 times right that's the upper that's the lower if you only had one oven i think it would just say total usage and you would just get like how many times you use the the single oven or whatever it is. Anyways, let's keep going. So if you if you read what it just said there, it said push. Let's see. Let's let it go one more time. So total usage 27308. Okay, I got there. Then it says push delay start if you want to clear that number. So let's say you want to bring it back down to zero. You can do that. I don't want to do that because I want to keep track of how many times I'm using this oven so that if a repair technician ever comes, I can keep track of like, oh, this is at what point I had to do this or that or that repair or service or whatever. So I want to keep going through the menu. So I'm going to push three again. There's the bake. You, that, that's how many times I turn the oven to bake. So the upper 253, the lower 99 times is how many times I did that. Let's push three again. There's your broil usage. There's your convection usage. So the, the up my upper oven does not have a convection. That's why it's at zero, right? But my lower, I use 279 times as a convection oven. So I'm gonna keep going. There's clean usage. I'm not sure exactly what that is. That might be the times I turn on the self-clean. If you know, you can comment down below down there. But three for the upper, eight for the lower, whatever that is. Okay, then we have secondary modes. I don't think I ever use those. That's why they're both at zero. There's the on time, 42,732. That's 42,000 hours that this thing has been on, plugged in, and just like chilling like a villain and cooking, I guess, the total. How many hours it's been plugged in? So that's about like six years, seven years, something like that. Okay. I don't know how I did the quick math, but I just did. Okay. Anyways, I want to get out of this, right? So there's your total usage again. So I'm back at the first menu. If you hit six, you'll go down. You just basically go backwards. You get the idea. I want to get out of this entirely. So I'm just going to push off and off again. Make sure you push off twice. That'll just kind of bring you back to like regular oven mode. Your door opens, your light goes on. You get the idea. Okay. Stay tuned. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next video right after this one. I'm going to take you through the full diagnostic testing mode of like how this thing figures out if there's an error code, what the error code is, yada, yada. So stay tuned for that. There are some cool products in the description section. Make sure to check those out. Hit me up with any comments if you have any, and I'll catch you all on the next video. So make sure to stay tuned for the next video to see how to run the full diagnostic test and see if there are any diagnostic codes and what those are. So when you call KitchenAid or Whirlpool, you can then give them the error code. Make sense? Okay, here we go.